Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar. We'll go through the precipitation temperature from the UK Met Office run over the next five days. So we do have more unsettled conditions coming in. A lot of people have been talking about the recently very dry weather. It's been quite up and down with temperatures. We've had some cold weather recently. We had some warm weather a few weeks ago. But one consistent thing is it's been very dry. But we are seeing precipitation heading southwards today and we'll see more widespread showers over the coming days so we are going to be seeing quite a lot of rain for some and most areas we'll see at least a little bit of rain beyond that we'll have a look at the gfs gm east and the ensembles for the mid to long range as it's looking like we're likely to see around average or above average upper air temperatures now dominating through the middle of may we we're looking at yesterday a big warm-up is on the cards no heat wave at this stage i must stress that but definitely a warm-up to above average conditions meaning it wouldn't be too difficult to be seeing days in the low 20s so that is what we're going to be looking at in the second half of the video just so remember if you enjoy my videos make sure to like and subscribe and remember to follow me on twitter as well the links in the description so we do start by having a look at the live radar from uh, the weather channel and you can see it's a big big split across the uk at the moment in the far southeast in the london area where i am it's been a beautiful day so far temperatures got up into the mid to high teens very cold start we had a frost last night but a real quite pleasant day feeling almost summer like but further northwards it is a lot worse we do have an upper upper level trough low pressure system a lot of vorticity coming in bringing quite a lot of light to moderate rain with some heavier pulses these yellows and darker greens especially over the higher ground and there's sort of a, a gradient from sunny in the far southeast to more cloudy towards mostly cloudy and then completely cloudy across northern england um, ahead of the weather front where it's bringing a lot of heavy rain so we're seeing big transition um, and all areas will be very cloudy overnight tonight so we're not likely to see a frost for any uh, of course this is inducing milder air as well um, and beyond into tomorrow it looks likely many areas further southwards will be seeing this rain as it does clear northwards some areas perhaps in northern england might get real lucky where the precipitation moves through overnight so when uh, no one's outside um, or very few people outside so some areas in northern england might get lucky uh, but quite a few areas are going to be seeing either rain today uh, over the course of the rest of this afternoon and evening or through tomorrow tomorrow not likely to be as heavy but will be more showery um, and more widespread across the whole of england and wales and southern parts of ireland if we do have a look at the clouds again it's not going to show an amazing picture but you can generally see it's lighter further south and eastwards again it's not particularly high resolution uh but yeah uh, lighter further south and eastwards um, thicker further northwards and westwards and we'll see this well reflected on the temperatures you can see again warmest southwards and eastwards um, even some warmer temperatures up into the northeast of england just ahead of the weather front um, but you can see under the pre precipitation across northern parts of wales up towards no far northwest of england up towards scotland and northern ireland and many parts of Republic ireland it is much cooler with those temperatures in around the low teens you can see probably the best temperature contrast because of the orographics across england it's more difficult to see um the temperature contrast but you can see it very well here in the far southwest of ireland it is pretty nice getting up towards high teens maybe even touching on 18 19 degrees but you see a very distinct line further northwards to uh more blues um, and less yellows with heavier precipitation moving in but you can see many of these areas you see some of these oranges mixing in um, especially in the north uh, and central areas into the east as well along the far south coast a little bit chillier and the far southwest with a bit more of a breeze but most areas in land really quite pleasant again we're not seeing any real, real bull eye, bullseye conditions that we have seen recently where we've seen these oranges form in very specific spots like the northwest of england um, or sort of parts of southern wales but we're seeing these quite wide spread conditions as we do have quite warm upper air temperatures coming in or at least decent upper air temperatures not crazy hot but decent um, but this will be cooling down so a pleasant day for many in england uh, and the far southwest of ireland but that uh, temp those temperatures will be cooling down as this precipitation does head in so if we do have a look at the uk met office run have a look at precipitation and then we'll have a look at temperature 
can see the precipitation arriving. And as I'm recording this around 2, 3 p.m., you see the precipitation moving into the far north of England, most of uh, Scotland and Northern Ireland, the Republic of Ireland. It does pro progress eastwards and south, uh, more southwards as it does. It does break up a little bit, so turning more uh, sort of patchy, but still some heavier poles in there, some greens and yellows. So some heavier precipitation. It does look like the most amount of precipitation is going to be further westwards. Eastwards still seeing rain, but more patchy and more lighter pulses for the early hours of Sunday. But by sunrise, seeing a lot of precipitation. And by middle afternoon, you see widespread light to moderate rain. Uh, again, patchy, a lot of breaks in that, but it will be very cloudy and dull within that. So it doesn't look like it's going to be a particularly great first day of may um so yeah it doesn't look great some showers for the north with widespread uh showery conditions so all areas tomorrow can have the potential for rain most likely in the far southwest parts of wales and into central southern and eastern england with more uh sort of drizzly lighter rain uh could be some heavier pulses potentially in that as we do move through that precipitation eventually clears by sunday evening and into monday afternoon we do see some sunshine around, still thicker cloud, but plenty of showers as we do have slightly lower pressure and some more vorticity and some, some more, um, slightly more unsettled conditions, a little more lift in the air. Beyond that, though, as we head through to Tuesday, more heavier showers around, potentially some thundery showers, maybe some thunderstorms mixing in here across central southern England, southwest into parts of Wales and the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland, potentially. Again, a few days away, so we can't say with any great certainty, but showers around on Tuesday afternoon. And it continues into Wednesday, more showers around. Once again, it could be heavy and thundery. But the one good thing is this is more milder air masses, uh, more mixing of air, so no more of these frosts around. And where you escape the showers and see more sunshine, it could be pretty decent. So we do have a look at the max temperatures. You can see earlier this morning, very chilly in and around minus one, minus two degrees in a few spots but this afternoon you see those real warm widespread temperatures across many eastern areas actually stretch further, further southwards as well um, and slightly further westwards as i'm recording this is still milder so a little bit maybe an hour delay on the weather front than the uk met office run has here so more widely 16 17 18 degrees today and tomorrow those temperatures are not going to be quite as high for many under that heavier or thicker cloud and precipitation widely 8 to 10 degrees maybe 12 13 degrees if you escape the heaviest precipitation and the best temperatures will be across scotland 15, 16 degrees around that Glasgow, Edinburgh area, um, um, as we are not seeing as much cloud and just maybe a few showers. Through into Monday, you can see no real chance of any frost anywhere, widely up into the high single digits. And by Monday afternoon, you can see 16, 17, 18 degrees where you escape the showers. That's going to be the big thing over the next few days. Again, similar on Tuesday, 16, 17 degrees. Uh, but further northwards, where we have more heavier showers, much cooler in only around 9, 10 degrees. And that's very similar on into parts of Wednesday, 15, 16 degrees, maybe 17, 18 degrees across parts of Southern Ireland as well. So warm upper air temperatures are coming, but um, we are going to potentially, well, warm upper air temperatures are coming, but we're not potentially going to be seeing um, all impacts on that yet. It's just simply because, um, just simply because we do have quite a few showers around, but we are potentially seeing signal fire pressure to build in over the next maybe five or seven days more, especially in the south, which could mean with these warmer upper temperatures, we could see warmer two meter temperatures at the surface, more widespread, not just where we escape the showers. So we do have a look at the mid range, have a look at the GFS. First of all, you can see that little trough moving southwards through Scotland at the moment. And then we generally see a westerly flow for the end of next week. But as I said, high pressure is building to the south, low pressure further northwards. So it's going to be quite a split picture. There's going to be showers around, especially for the northwards but in the south we could see high pressure building properly um, and by next weekend it could be quite warm under that higher pressure we'll have a look at the upper air temperatures in a minute but further northwards low pressure tries to push in so the north even though it does look like it's going to be milder it is going to potentially be more unsettled but with these low pressure systems squeezing the isobars it's going to bring up even milder air from the south so we do have to have a little bit of give and tug here in terms of more chance of more unsettled conditions and precipitation, but um, higher chance, uh, but, but also a higher chance of seeing warmer temperatures. So, again, 
more showers but higher temperatures or less showers and cooler temperatures I'm, to be honest i'd probably take the warmer temperatures and more shower activity just simply because we haven't had a lot of rain recently and it's probably good for uh, all gardens and stuff Beyond that, as we talk day 10, very similar, high pressure to our south, low pressure to our north, warmer conditions potentially in the south. Before right towards the end of the run, we see a bit of a cutoff low developing, again right at the end, so I wouldn't look too much into that. Again, returning this blocking up towards Greenland that we've seen a consistent signal for, but it's never truly come into the shorter term time frame. So, yeah, we'll have to look at that with a bit of a pinch of salt. If we do have a look at the upper air temperatures, we'll see what that is showing over the next uh, couple of weeks. Again, Warmer air is starting to push in, and we do widely have warmer air in by the middle to end of this coming working week. Widely 5 degrees at 850 HPA, slightly above average, and we continue seeing that for the foreseeable future, especially in the south. Cooler air at times in the north, but in the south could even get to 10 degrees at 850 HPA, with, as I said, with these squeeze of the isobars from these low pressure systems. So yes, bringing more unsettled conditions, bringing even milder air, uh, and we could see maybe mid 20s with that maybe low 20s more widely but mid 20s could be potentially seen with these sort of upper air temperatures beyond that though we again see warmer temperatures in the south cooler temperatures in the north but eventually we all get into that cooler air mass with that little cutoff low but as i said i wouldn't look too much into that because it's so far in the future if we do look at the gm run see how that does compare again very similar over the next few days with high pressure building into the far south again not quite establishing itself as much in terms of as being high pressure, uh, higher pressure, but still high pressure, not as high as on the GFS run, but less low pressure to our north, which is a good signal, at least initially, um, before right to the end of the run, we do see the low pressure push in. So if you run back and have a look at the upper air temperatures, again, pretty warm um, in terms of upper air temperatures moving in, 5 degree isotherm, and right towards the end of the run, we could see the 10 degree isotherm, maybe come up but more low pressure mixing in with that so gm very similar um from right around day five to day ten in terms of high pressure over the top of the uk we will have warmer air masses but it's not directly over the top not sort of a massive 1050 millibar high pressure system so there will be the potential for some convective showers so there will be showers around but most likely will be within days of high teens low 20s which is good for i think most people so we do have a look at the ECMWF run, see how that does compare, again high pressure building in, we do see it uh, just linger to our far southwest, not quite dominating towards the middle of the week yet, it does eventually push in around seven, day 7, but right towards the end of the next weekend we see this little pesky low pressure system, something similar to what we have now, moving southwards which could give some precipitation and some heavier rain, so very interesting seeing that, not seeing that on the other runs, um, again if that wasn't there it would be very similar to the other two, so very similar sort of overall setup, but has this small trough building in. Um, which could bring big disruption um, to warmer temperatures, could bring slightly colder pool of air and more unsettled conditions. So hopefully we don't see that come off. But if we do run for the upper air temperatures, generally it's very similar, around 5 degrees at 850 HPA before we see that colder pool move in and turn things a little bit more unsettled, bringing those temperatures down. So yeah, interesting seeing that. We'll look too much into that at this stage though. So we do move beyond that and have a look at the ensembles. If we first start on the GFS ensembles, look at the upper air temperatures. Again, you can see chilly at, at, uh, at the moment, but those upper air temperatures are rising. And that's why we're seeing warmer temperatures over the coming days where we see sunshine. And by the end of this coming working week, widely above average and staying above average through to the middle of May, where we do see some cooler on some members dropping more towards average, but the majority are well above average. But one consistent signal is precipitation every single day in terms of small precipitation spike so convective potential most days some days will be completely dry but other days we could be some, seeing some heavy showers and thunderstorms and again we'll only really know the details of that a day or two out so we can't look at that in too much detail at this stage if we do have a look at the two meters temperatures though you can see widely getting up towards 18 19 20 degrees on a lot of the ensemble members for next weekend um so yeah quite a big warm-up potentially coming with these uh these runs and again, this has been a consistent signal over the last two or three days of a warm-up in the ensemble members. So it's not like it's just one outlier ensemble run. Does it like it most likely will be getting up towards high teens, maybe 20 degrees, where we do escape showers over the next week or two. So if you look at the ECM WF run, see how that does compare, just look at the 850 HPA temperatures. Again, very similar in terms of rising, not quite as warm in the longer term, more cooler outliers around the 8th to 10th of May. 
but again uh, majority are around or above average so similar in terms of the gfs and a consistent low precipitation signal so again showery activity so it does look like it will be warming up over the next week back potentially to high teens low 20s or even warmer perhaps if we see uh, one of these sort of much warmer runs but definitely does look above average in terms of temperatures and especially upper air temperatures but more unsettled conditions potentially in terms of shower activity no massive storms or anything at this stage but more more in terms of shower activity so we do need to keep an eye on that especially over the next few days um, but beyond that it does look like there will be potential for showers and thunderstorms potentially coming in so anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll see you again for another video soon